target, it, and it's really not even target rule. It's helmet to helmet contact. Right. So I could go in and try to make a, a solid, good tackle, and have inadvertent helmet to helmet. It can happen every single play. So I just don't think it was well thought out. And for me, being in this league and seeing how the rules of progressed over the years for player safety, which is good, but it always seems like the onus is on defensive players. I haven't seen an offensive guy outside of a, a real egregious hit like a Juju Smith get called for maybe ducking his head or ducking his shoulder trying to protect himself, even though he's hitting me and our games in the helmet to helmet. Um, I would like to see you know maybe a panel or something, maybe go back that are taken outside of the game and say, okay, was this egregious? Was he trying to be malicious? Um, and then maybe go about it that way. Um, and then also, I would like us to see us enforce the rules that we already have on the books, especially when it comes to player safety. When guys get a concussion, they shouldn't be returning to the game at all, whether they pass uh, um, the concussion protocol or not. If we're really worried about our guys, let's make sure that we're doing that and hold the teams accountable and not continue to just put it on players. And how do you think the new helmet rule will, will change the game in the meantime? Well, hopefully they go back. I think they have a meeting in May and realize that it's not going to be a functional rule that's going to make sense because it's going to be hard on the rest. They already have enough rules to call. Now, do they call it every single play, which they can do? Um, but for me, I, I just have to go out there and play my game. I can't really think about it. Um, and we'll see how it's mitigated or, or called throughout uh, the preseason. But it's, going to, it's, it's definitely going to be hard because our heads are at the top of our body. You play with forward lean. Um, even if I'm coming in with a shoulder, if he ducks his head a little bit, it's slight helmet to helmet. That's a flag. So, I, like I said, it can be called every play. I just don't think it was well thought out. The intention and the, of the rule is great, but we have to understand at some point this is a co collision contact sport, and I think that's some of the uh, lore to it. And everybody's not built to play this game. And you can't legislate out every injury, or we wouldn't be playing football. At that point, it, it changes to something different. Mm -hmm. And if the fans and the owners are okay with that, then we would have to live in that new world. Franz, I think you referred to star as a star. Thing for me is that when a guy catches the ball across the middle and it's it's bang, bang, the ball, he's just catching the ball. Um, he doesn't have his feet down yet. It's like, as a defensive player, I'm not going to wait for him to, right. to bring the ball in and secure it. And, I mean, that's, that's not realistic. So, um, I mean, in my eyes, if I'm able to hit him in his feet all the way up to his shoulders, um, you know, I'm gonna try to. Obviously, the the, the head the head contact you can you can get away from that. Um, but um, I don't know. It's just it's so tough, especially as a defensive player, to to get away from those plays, and that's why you see them always happening. They can't you know you can't get rid of those plays. And one of the things Kyle mentioned to me was that you wear a helmet for a reason. Like exactly. that's a inherently violent sport. So how much as a player do you want it to be safer versus this is just simply what you do for a living? Um, well, I think everybody that that uh, is at this level understands the uh, um, understands the rules. Number one and number two understands that it's a it's a violent sport. You know, we've all been playing our whole lives, and yeah, like you said, you have a helmet for a reason. You try not to use it, um, but sometimes it slips in there. And you know, like like I was talking about those bang bang plays, is it's tough. I mean, start finding the quarterbacks. Like they're the ones that are throwing the ball right there. Um, you know, it's tough for us to be able to adjust last second to, to get our head to one side, the other side, up, down. You know, we're trying to make play just like the receiver is. So, um, you know, sport of football. Micah, you were selected your first Colts.